Adding a new hard drive to your existing system is an easy way to store more data on your computer, and the installation process is fairly simple. Even though PCIe drives are becoming more common, we'll just be showing you how to install the more common SATA drives. If you're installing an SSD, you'll want to go for the 2.5 inch form factor. With mechanical drives, make sure you get at least 7200 RPM. Static electricity is the easiest way to fry your drive or motherboard, so make sure to ground yourself frequently or use an anti-static wristband. First, you'll want to find somewhere convenient to mount the drive. 3.5 inch mechanical drives usually mount near the front of the case, where the optical drives are. 2.5 inch bays will either have their own special mounting slot or will need an adapter to fit in the 3.5 inch slot. Regardless of the type of drive, it will need two cables plugged into it. The first is the power cable. Find a space on one of the power cables leaving the power supply with the appropriate size plugs for a SATA device. It has an L-shaped bend to it and firmly press it into the slot on the hard drive until it seats fully. The second cable is the SATA cable to transfer data. If there isn't already one coming off of your motherboard, you'll need to plug one in. The ends of the SATA cable also have an L-shaped end, so they can't be attached the wrong way. If you're using an SSD, you'll want to make sure you're using at least SATA 3.0 with support for 6 gigabit per second transfer speeds to take full advantage of the hardware. Mechanical drives aren't typically fast enough for this to be a concern, so any SATA port will do. Close up the computer, turn the power supply back on, and boot up the system. Once it's powered on, open up the My Computer to ensure the drive was installed correctly.